Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm just doing a quick reading for Pisces. Now these are Easter readings that I'm doing. They're just a bonus. So hope you have a great Easter. Hope you get a lot of chocolate. Spend time with family. Um, yeah, just I just think have a great time and hopefully you enjoy this reading. Let's get some cards for Pisces. And the snake came out, which isn't a good start because the last read for you guys was about trusting people that you shouldn't. Um, <laughs> I should just give up now. Freaking God. Okay. Let's go. Four more cards. Two more cards. Yep. Okay, so you're going to go through a period where um, you're not in communication with somebody, um, but you're also like having a new phase. You're entering a new phase in your life, rising like the phoenix. So I'd say that there was some sort of ending here. Um, and I feel like once you rise like a phoenix, you are going to be in a place of um, stability and security. I feel like, you know, you were heartbroken by this situation. You could have been married or in a high level of commitment as well. Um, but I feel like it was definitely involved with, you were definitely involved with a narcissist. It was one-sided. Um... So yeah, I feel like you, you stopped all communication with them. And now here you are, rising like the phoenix. All right, so um, you've got the chaser. This is somebody not wanting to be alone, not wanting to, um, yeah, not like, feeling codependent, not wanting to be alone. They're wanting their divine masculine as well. Oops, with the emperor. Um, they're wanting... This person could be an Aries, um, but if not, yeah, this this person, they just want, um, they don't want to be alone. They want to be with their divine masculine is what I'm getting. And they have hope that that will happen. Um, next, you've got a girl with a snake, which is why I laugh because we're just talking about the snake. And then, look, this is the card upright. You had it in reverse. Girl with a snake. So I feel like you didn't have any boundaries with this person. Um, with the three of wands though, I feel like you were always waiting on a return of investment with this person. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're now manifesting something better. Um, you want something a lot more sort of passionate and there is going to be someone younger coming in now you possibly are in a place of not wanting to date right now um, yeah because yeah, date is in reverse so tell me tell me what that's about You possibly got kids um, or you're just kind of looking after yourself, um, nurturing you, you know, dealing with that, that heart, heartache, like I said, um, while manifesting something better. Now, you need to work on your self-love and be okay being whole, being alone. Um, but somebody might come in who you are attracted to um with the seven of wands in reverse um yeah i feel like you're in that indecision place because somebody is going to do some sort of romantic gesture um but is it love or is it because you're just codependent page of wands yeah as i said it's exciting it's 
you're curious, but you've also got the high priestess. There's things you don't know. So trust your intuition is what I want to say. You know, it might be exciting, but other people are going to be like attracted to you though. So don't feel like this is your only option. You are learning from the past, which is good. Um, for some of you, you might be having a bit of nostalgia. You might think back about this person. That's, I'm sure that's completely normal. Um, you were definitely in a place of indecision when it came to this person. Um, maybe that was the problem. Maybe you kind of kept tolerating whatever this was. Um, with the Ace of Swords, yeah, you're, you're definitely having a fresh start. Like you got some sort of clarity. You realise that you are the only one that can make any kind of changes in your life. And here we go, Eight of Cups, you're walking away. Um, and it's telling you next to have faith because love is coming. If that's what you're after, like as I said, you don't need to feel like you've got no other options because there is someone coming in for you. Um, yeah, at the moment though, you're going to be in this place of waiting for that to happen because you need to do some sort of healing first. Um, so take some time for you. Um, yeah, let the past go. You're moving to somewhere where there's a, it's a lot more like calmer waters and then then you are going to get this message of love like i said um you did, when i said you're moving on from calmer waters the moon card popped out so trust your intuition with whatever whatever this is um, let go of feeling like you don't have other options, you've got a lack of, because that just puts out like a desperate energy into the universe, so you're just going to attract more shit. Um, be aware of that. So watch what you put out there. Um, yeah, continue doing the healing, continue working on you, and um, yeah, there'll be new someone new coming in, but that's what I have, so please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And have a great Easter. Okay, bye.